Namaste friends and welcome to your channel to your now in this video as you can see on the screen uh, everybody knows what happened uh, since this morning in Israel and uh, I'm not making this video to give you some news or give my opinion I am only making this video so that if you watch this video till the end you would be able to live for a few more days okay for example for example, wherever you are, you are in Israel or you're in America or UK, Europe, you're in my country, wherever you are, if you would know these facts after watching this video, then probably you will be alert, you will know what's coming for you or for your kids and uh, what are you fighting with, what are you supposed to do, what are you not supposed to do. So uh, it's a very sad day for humanity, you know, it's not about uh, who is killing whom, eventually people are dying. Just look at this uh, girl. Uh, they're kidnapping her. They have kidnapped thousands of girls already since morning and um, they must have been raped by now and uh, by you know thousand times already, okay? Don't think I'm exaggerating. No, I'm not exaggerating. Thousands of girls and women have been kidnapped since morning and that they have been raped, brutally raped, uh, gang raped. I can't even give you a number how many times, how many times they must have been raped by now in the last 24 hours, okay? Or maybe in the last 20 hours. So it's a very sensitive video and uh, disclaimer here is that what I'm going to so uh, what I'm going to what I am going to say in this video not everybody's going to like because truth is not about pleasing everybody okay I'm here to say this because you know I I was thinking last uh, I was thinking since last one hour it's not my problem not my country not my people I don't know them they're you know it's their problem then I thought, what I can do, you know, you might have heard about this uh, since morning, the war happening in Israel now, people being killed, missile attacks and everything. But what can you do? Have you asked wherever you are, you are in America, London or uh, wherever you are on this planet, have you asked your question that what can you do for, pe for these people to help them? I don't think you have asked yourself and if you have asked yourself then I don't know if you found if you found the answer, but I found the answer that what can I do? Okay, I was busy all day, and then in last one hour I did my research and I have seen videos in which they have murdered many men uh, in Israel and they have taken small girls and children. It's, it's a routine for them because that's what, that is what I'm going to talk about. There are four factors, and uh, I salute to muslim community for being radical for being extremist and for being uh, you know uh, stick together because that's what they do that's what islam teaches them okay so again be open minded here uh, many muslims are my friends too but it's not about muslim it's about islam what islam teaches because as a muslim you can change yourself but you cannot change the teachings of Islam, okay? So be open-minded and, uh, you know, I have to tell this to people in my video because, you know, my channel is about making money online, but that money is not going to come and save your life, okay? You might be the richest person of Israel today or was, you know, you might have been the richest person of Israel, Israel until morning, but now you're shot dead, okay? So your, your money is not going to save you and... Um, yeah, so this video which I have just started is going to be a long one, maybe one hour long, I'm not sure, I just have started. And then you can go on Twitter and I, you can find multiple videos, there are n number of videos, okay? And there will be two sides of uh, this, you know, war or these news which you can say uh, see here. You know, one side from Israel, uh, you will see these videos of genus, you know, uh, genus, human genocide, okay? Uh, these uh, radical Islamic terrorists have uh, got into Israel this morning and they have attacked, uh, they have killed innocent civilians and all the crap, okay, which uh, you have seen the news, I'm not here to give you the news, okay, I'm here to give you few days extra in your life, okay, for example, tomorrow this will happen to you, I'm not saying this could happen to you, this will happen to you, mark my words, take my words very seriously because I live in a country where we have 0.2 radical extreme people here. Okay, the day I'm talking about my country itself, my country has a population of 1.4 billion people in total. Out of one point, out of these 1.4 billion, 0.2 are radical Islamic people in my country as citizens. Okay, so the day these 0.2 billion people in my country, they will grow 
uh, equal to our number, they will do the same thing what is happening to Israel, okay? So your war is not to some external country, to some external, you know, your war is not with your neighbor, neighboring country or with some other country. That is not the war. War is already in your neighborhood, in your doorstep, in, inside your society, inside your town, okay? And again, if you think you're too smart and you're not going to listen to me, well, fuck off, okay? You're dead tomorrow. Go and be, go and die today. No, nobody cares about you. I care about your children. Because if you are giving your children the, the iPhones and iPads so that they can make some fucking TikTok videos, that's what's going to happen to your girls. And uh, trust me, I am very, you know, what's the tragic thing is that when you know everything, you know, when you know nothing, you don't feel the pain. Understand? If you do not know anything, you will not feel the pain because you do not have the knowledge. You don't know anything what's happening in the world, okay? But when people like me and other people who are aware, fully aware what's happening and it is unavoidable, this cannot be avoided, then you cannot understand how much pain you have to go through okay so if you had been uh, taking sun bath in the weekend you had been on the beach you had been in the club uh, fucking some hard chicks wherever you are you had been living your life then wake up because this life is not gonna last long okay so there will be two versions of the story one version will be coming from israel second version will be coming from palestine and the third version will be coming from the islamic countries who, who will support this okay so for to, uh, to start with for starters again I beg you, watch this video till the end for your kids and for your girls, please. I am not going to get any benefit from this video, okay? If you watch this video, understand everything till the end, you will at least be able to probably save your kids if not yourself, okay? So the war is in the hands and it's not the war with the guns, okay? The gun is the end only, you know, when these missiles come, guns come and everything, this is the end. This had the this is about mentality. You're not fighting with ten thousand people or one billion people. No, you're fighting with the mentality, which means that if Israel, you know, if Israel goes to Palestine and destroy Palestine and kill everybody in Palestine, that is not a win for Israel because Israel just kill, you know, Israel just kill those people who were in, you know, uh, following that mentality. And trust me, trust me. These kind of terrorist, radical, extreme people are not just in Palestine. They they might be in your neighborhood as well. You know, uh, I have seen a video today. You know what? A lot of Islamic, radical Islamic uh, Muslims in you know on the streets of London supporting Palestine. Can you believe that? A lot of a mass crowd of Muslim radical people, in which they were women too. Okay. They were on the streets in London supporting uh, this uh, yeah, this uh, attack on Israel from Palestine, okay? And then on the streets of Iraq, the public had been supporting Palestine. On the streets, in, inside the parliament of uh, Iran, the ministers had been supporting this attack from Palestine on Israel. And a lot of, you know, other stuff which combined. So I will give like 100 or maybe 10 out of 10 to Muslims for their unity, okay? So Muslim uh, guys or rather community is, is so strong when it comes to unity, whether they're in America, whether they're in the UK or some other part of the world, they are always united and that is why they're all radical and if you want to play good Muslim, bad Muslim, you want to, you know, if you are my Muslim friend, you want to unfriend me right now, go ahead, do it today. You know, instead of doing tomorrow, you can do it, do it right now, okay? Because the truth will not be hidden, okay? And I have... Because when I ask to you, what can you do? The least I can do is make this video. So I will not back off. I will make the video and tell people the truth, okay? Because if this video saves one person life, you know, if you're watching this video and if you can get to the truth and if, if it saves your life, then my work is at least productive. I will not say my work is done, but at least if I can save one life, it, it will be productive, okay? So there will be cover-ups from tomorrow or maybe from today onwards, okay? The cover-up means that uh, on one end, radical Islamic terrorists, they kill people, they slaughter, they rape, they brutally murder, they capture, and all of that we're going to learn in four points, okay? In Islam, you have four points, I'm going to talk about them, that why these people are like this, if they are like this, okay? Because they are certainly, you can see the videos now. And this, has hap this had been happening since thousands of years, you know, uh, I can give you the history 
of last 1000 years uh, you know in which i can prove that these people will never change okay so these people have these radical people have attacked my country thousand years ago they kill slaughter they convert people uh, they converted people on the on the you know basis of violence okay that convert leave a die that's their slogan when they attack enemies you know when they will attack a non-muslim land they will give you three choices as a man convert leave or die these days there's only one choice die okay so what happened to israel today there were there was no choice given to men that do you want to become a muslim we will spare your life no these days only men die okay da, 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 da. i can't even show you those videos which i have seen okay so again guys you know uh, yeah i i have no clue man uh, how can i save you but at least the information which i have inside me that's the information which you need to know okay and pass this information to your kids because uh, I told you uh, countries such as this uh, UK, my country, America, France, the whole Europe, we all are sitting, actually the whole planet, you know, except China, because China can take care of these radical people, uh, because China has no, no democracy, okay, China does not have fake democracy, just like other countries, just like everywhere you have fake democracy, so yeah, China is a monarchy and uh, China takes care of these radical people uh, very, uh, you know, smoothly. But countries like my country and this um, uh, US and the UK and uh, you know all these big countries are actually sitting on a dynamite and on a, and on a time bomb. Okay, now why they kill, why they attack, why they rape, and why why all this happens? Okay, because it is their DNA. This is what they have learned from or learned since their childhood. Okay, so let's talk about two things first, and again. Be open-minded, just in case if you're a Muslim watching this video, you know, I don't know if you're a good Muslim, bad Muslim, I don't want to play that game, okay? But, I will tell you one thing for sure here, I will not hesitate in telling the truth no matter who you are. So, first thing is, there is a difference between a Muslim and Islam. The difference is, a Muslim can decide to not to kill you. Understand? A Muslim can decide to live a civilized life. A Muslim can be a software engineer and have not killed anything in their life. A Muslim can go uh, can decide to become vegetarian. A Muslim can decide not to have multiple uh, marriages. A Muslim can do good things as a human. Or rather, Muslim can also say that, okay, I don't want to stay Muslim. I want to change into Christianity or into some other religion, okay? That's what Muslim person can do or they have a choice but I'm not playing here good Muslim bad Muslim I am talking about Islam as a religion Islam the teachings of Islam cannot be changed for example let's assume that let's con let's consider that if I'm a Muslim if I am a Muslim I have a choice to whether do the good things or be in Muslim religion or convert into something else I have that choice but if I change myself that does not mean that I have changed the teachings of Islam. I haven't, okay? Because Islam teaches killing, murdering, and uh, looting, and other stuff, okay? So these radical people which you see here in Palestine today, uh, attacking on Israel, what you have seen in ISIS, and uh, what you had been uh, seeing uh, from time to time, you know, in, in the beheading of Charlie Hebdo in France, and uh, you know every time they say Allahu Akbar as soon you hear this word uh, the the chant Allahu Akbar in the public that means three things either they will stab you either they will explode or either they will shoot you understand it very carefully okay as long as you're you're you know trying to be stay blind you will die soon okay so understand one thing this world is going towards the uh, uh, deadline okay so as long your country is controlled by these leftist and wokeist people you are towards you are approaching towards your final destination pretty soon okay now let me give you four points here uh, that's all you need to know for now okay first first point is kafir and these four points belong to the uh, Islam religion okay these words comes from Islam okay now kafir what is kafir simple a person who is not uh, a Muslim, that person is called Kafir in Islam, okay? Kafir means non-Muslim. There's nothing much you need to know about that. If you are not a Muslim, then in their religion, as per them, you are a Kafir, okay? Are we clear till now? 
Kafir means a non-Muslim, right? That's not much. But the game starts here. We have Wajibul Qatl. These are all Quran and Islamic words uh, and uh, Arabic words, I guess, okay? Wajibul Qatl. This is a funny one. Wajibul Qatl. <laughs> you need to know it, otherwise your kids, your girls will die, okay? So Wajibul Qatl means, Wajibul means justified. So this word, Wajibul, Wajibul means justified and Qatl means murder. And this is as per Islam. It's, these are not my words. I have not uh, made anything up, okay? So the first word was kafir, which means non-Muslim. And second word is wajibul qatl. I'm telling you these four, uh, four key pointers so that tomorrow, you know, there will be agenda. There will be people talking to you that say, oh, Islam is a peaceful religion, but they don't tell you the spelling of peace. It's P-I-E-C-E -E for them. They come, they come to your city, your country, your uh, you know town, and they cut you into pieces if you don't listen to them. That's what uh, the religion means. Islam is a religion of peace. P I E C E, cut into pieces. Okay. So first word was first word was kafir, and wajibul qatl means as per the as per, as per the Islam, wajibul qatl means it is justified to murder. Now, murder whom and why is it justified? Well, as per the as per their religion, is it, uh, it is justified to murder a kafir. Can you connect the dots now? So, as per their religion, it is justified to murder a non-Muslim, a kafir. Okay. So, as per them, kafir is also some inferior human being. As per them, Muslims are superior, and somebody who is a non-Muslim, they're inferior. Okay. All of these things are taught inside the Quran and inside their Islam religion, okay? Now, these things are being taught to them since childhood. Understand what a child will go through if these things are being taught to him since two years of age. Imagine your children going to a school, uh, you know, religious school, and your children is being taught the hatred since their childhood from the age of two years until they grow up like 17, 16 years of age, all they are being taught is that uh, Muslims are superior, everybody else is inferior human being, and they are kafir as non-Muslims, and it is justified, it is wajibul qatl, it is justified to murder a non-Muslim. And these are not my words, or these are not the words of any Muslim, these are the teachings of the Islam religion. So that is why I said, as a Muslim, you have a choice to do something and not to do something. But if you follow the correct Islam, you will be killing, murdering people and blah, 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 whatever has been happening since morning. It is destined to happen if you follow true Islam. Okay, so I appreciate Muslims. So they are following their true Islam. And I will leave up to you, audience, you smart asses, that do you want to be friends with them and uh, how far you're willing to take this, okay? Because tomorrow there will be an agenda. If you're in America, in London, there will be some Muslim guys, you know, Muslim boys coming on the streets, making YouTube videos, making TikTok videos, and they will ask you, hey, do you think, uh, what do you think about Muslims? Do you think they are, they are hateful? And then there will be Islamophobia narrative, okay? So on one end, on one end, they are going to kill, murder your girls in number of thousands. And on the other end, from next day onwards, they will be running the narrative that, oh, Islam is a peaceful religion and uh, we love and we respect and we da 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 and all the crap, okay? And then some guy will say, okay, yeah, so you will not like me just because I'm Muslim, so it's Islamophobia. So you will be surrounded with this narrative. And you idiots, if you're an American or uh, European or whatever, you are supposed to be dead. Why? Well, I don't know why you're still living, okay? So, yeah, you, you know, they are following their true Islam and I appreciate for that because that's what, that is what actual Islam teaches, that you are supposed to kill non-Muslims, okay? Third word, moving on. Having fun? Cool. So, Malay Ganimat. Wow, this one is going to... Yeah, this one, this one is going to shock you uh, or it's going to be very fun, okay? You know what Malay Ganimat is? I will not, uh, yeah, I mean, just let me tell you the meaning of this. Malay, or def define this. Malay Ganimat means, <coughs> and by the way, all of this is from the Islam religion, not my words, okay? Disclaimer. Malay Ganimat. So, what happens is, when some robbers, some looters, some attackers 
when they attack a piece of land okay whether they attack a small town whether they attack a small city or they attack a whole country okay so as per the islam when you attack someone a piece of land or you attack another country or city so when you have won the war or rather when you have you know have a small win or big win okay so whatever you will conquer and capture and that means properties assets money plus women and girls so this male ganimat defines whatever you have you know whatever you have conquered by force after winning over the enemy such as property such as cash money or their women and girls okay so all these things will be divided among these terrorists equally because these are the products of war because you have won the war so all their girls and women belongs to you now their property their houses belongs to them now and the money belongs to them now okay so male ganimat means here the you know today in the morning what happened when these radical islamic terrorist entered israel they attacked the civilians they killed everybody they went into the houses of common people like you and me suppose imagine here you know you're sleeping in a house tomorrow they come and they attack you you don't know you have no idea what's going on why somebody will enter your house and break in right that's what happened that is what happened uh, in israel this morning okay so they attacked they killed civilians on the streets then they went to houses in the society and then they killed all the men in the house okay they killed all the men of the house and they took all the women and even at the uh, even they took the women of the age of 80 years plus what are you going to do with the uh, women of 80 years plus age they can do you know you know what they even raped their bodies they as in not palestinians not them they as in islam you know people who follow true islam these radical extreme uh, islamic people they even rape dead bodies you know once once they once they are you know once the vagina you know once the vagina of the dead body is uh, is teared apart i don't have the right word for in english but if the vagina of the dead body is like uh, in bad shape after being raped thousand times then you know what they do these radical islamic terrorists then they turn the body around and they continue go and read about yazidi women in during isis time what i am saying is with full responsibility everything is documented it's just that you know nothing about it so you cannot imagine what's coming for you you think you're in america you're safe you're a biggest idiot you think you're in the uk you're safe you're a biggest idiot they're just knocking your head tomorrow this, this is going to happen to you even in my country you know in my country they're only quiet as long as we have this present government and this present government is not leftist government so we are not safe even even in my country we are not safe at all these things keeps happening every now and then in small numbers but it, the the day they will grow uh, or they will be equal to our number you know because we are important without they are important as in we have not learned how to fight and all they do since childhood is only fight okay so let's come back to male ganimat male ganimat means when you as per the islam okay as per the islam when you attack your enemy at enemy here means a non muslim okay so when you attack a non muslim territory and then if you uh, conquer and if you win then their property then then their money and their women and girls are yours that is not the end those things will be divided into all these uh, terrorist equally which means when they are going to take your women and children all these women and children will be raped by uh, you know these terrorist one by one the only good thing they do is they don't rape them uh, in a gang okay so for example if if 1000 men have to rape your your girl they will do it one by one so that she can die later after 24 hours not die instantly okay that's the only mercy they have now do you think i am an idiot well you are an idiot 
because you have no idea what's coming. And these people follow true Islam. This is true Islam is, okay? Anybody dares to challenge me on this? Anybody here? I'm open for a debate. Tell me if these things are not taught inside Islam. Tell me. I will give you proofs. But you know what happens? These, uh, uh, these radical people, when you try to have a debate with them on a stage, you know, on a stage, in the television, or any uh, public platform, they will deny. They will say, no, Islam is not like that, blah, 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 blah. And you know what? They will go aggressive. When they know that now their Islam, their, their you know, thing is being exposed, you know, when somebody is going to expose them and they have no, nothing to defend, then they will become aggressive. You know what they will do? They will start screaming at you. For example, if I was saying all this on a public platform uh, in front of some, you know, some public and they were debating with me, they will start screaming at me. They will become aggressive at me and probably they will try to, uh, you know, do physical things with me. Okay? Because when they cannot win the argument, when they will feel that they are being exposed, they will become aggressive. So that's how they play, you know. They play nice as long it's suiting their agenda. As long I will be fulfilling their agenda, as long I will be saying the good things about the religion or Islam, as long I will hide these things, kafir, rajibul, katal, malik, anima, as long I will not tell the truth about the Islam, they are fine with that. But as soon as I start exposing the true colors of Islam, they will get aggressive verbally and physically with me or with anybody. And that is how it shows that these people are radical. So Malik Ghanimat, I hope you understand because this is a very important part tomorrow when they will attack. The first thing they are going to do is they're going to shoot the man. If you're a man, if you're, if you're the father, if you're a husband, if you're the brother, if you're the grandfather, first thing is they will shoot in your head and you will die peacefully. Who's going to suffer is your wife, your daughter, your sister, your whatever. Girl will be with girl will be with you. They don't kill girls. Why? Because they need to make them sex slaves. The life of the girl who is being taken by these radical extremist people is hell, a living hell. As a man, they shoot you. You're dead. Good. But they will take your women and they will rape her thousand times a day if she survives. If she dies, good for her. And I'm not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. Literally right now, I am I am only speaking. My eyes are closed. And this is not something which has happened today. You know, I will show you the history for about, I can tell you the history of last hundred years. Go to Google and uh, in 1946, direct action day. Go read about it. In 1940, this this happened in my country. In 1946, direct, direct action day happened in which a radical Islamic Muslims killed millions of Hindus in the state of West Bengal in India. Because they were demanding Pakistan. Pakistan was created in 1947. This was only a glimpse that why, you know, they, they wanted to show their power. So in 1946, they killed millions of Hindus, they raped millions of girls and women, and they, they, they killed the women, they killed the girls and the women, and they, they, uh, they, removed the, they removed the clothes from the dead body of the women, and then they chopped off their breasts. So they are not done only after raping you or only after killing you. Once they kill you as a woman, they'll take your body and uh, they will do the that thing, you know, like sh you you have a dress in the showroom and then you can see that dress from the outside. That's what they do with the dead body. So in 1946, when this direct action day happened, they killed millions of Hindus in India because they wanted to make a point that we want Pakistan separately now. And after they raped women, the same, you know, the, the, the modus of operandi is same everywhere. These radical people, they come from the same religion. Have you seen any Christian, any Hindu, any other religion person doing all these things to anybody? 
you will never see that. It will happen only from where, only from this religion, Islam. So direct action, they they killed millions, and then they uh, you know raped women. They removed clothes from their body. They chopped the breast of the women, and then they then they hang the body on the square for for showcase. I mean, what pleasure were you getting by chopping off their boots or breasts after killing them? You don't believe me? Because you're an idiot. You don't you don't know anything what has happened in the past. It's not about it happened to my country, so it's not your problem, man. <laughs> You are such an idiot. If you think that, it's not coming to you. So if you think that what is happening today in Israel, it's not going to happen to your country or to your city or to your town, you are a fucking idiot. You have no idea. You're sitting on a time bomb. So in 1946, direct action day happened. And then in 1947, this... Uh, India Pakistan partition happened. You go to Google and type in partition train massacre or whatever you type in, okay? Millions of people were killed during partition as well. And millions of Hindus I'm talking about killed by Islamic Islamic radical people. So next time someone tells you that Islam is a religion of peace, tell them the spelling yes, you're right, Islam is a religion of P I E C E. Because Islam means cut into pieces, okay? But from tomorrow onwards, you will be forced an agenda, a narrative that, oh, Islam does, Islam condemns this, this is not Islam, blah, 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 blah. But trust me, people who follow true Islam, they know who is kafir, they know wajibul qatl, murder and non-Muslim justified, they know malik and and they are doing the same thing, you know. They are doing the right thing as per their religion. They are attacking the Israel, they are killing innocent people who are non-Muslims, and they're taking their women and girls. So far, are we clear? Let me summarize this. So they killed non-Muslims, okay? And then it is justified as per their religion to kill non-Muslims. And then Malaganimat, Malaganimat means take their women, children, and rape them. They are, they are your property now. So now the women of those Israeli men are their property and they have been taken to Palestine, okay? Fourth point, Halala. Okay, you know what halala is? This is not part of halala means, uh, let's say, in Muslims, if, if, the, uh, if the man decides to give divorce to the wife, okay, if the, husband, if the husband gives the divorce to the wife, but later on, you know, later on, husband feels that, I, you know, I just, uh, I was angry and I don't want to be separated. I want my wife back again, okay? So, for example, you are my wife <coughs> in Muslims, okay, in, in Islam. For example, you are my wife and today I give you divorce because in Islam you can give divorce verbally as well, you know? You said talaq and that means go away. Div uh, that means our divorce has happened. So, in Islam you can give divorce uh, verbally as well. But later on, if you realize that, you know, uh, I want my wife back. So it's not like you call her, hey, hi, hey, honey, I'm so sorry, you know, let's just come back home. It doesn't work like that in Islam, okay? In Islam, if you have given divorce to your wife and if you want your wife back, then you know what happens? <laughs> That's just, that process is called halala, okay? So if you have realized that, okay, I did the mistake, now I want my wife back, I don't want to give her divorce, then you have to follow this process called halala. You know what halala means? Halala means now that wife, that woman cannot be with her husband until she has been fucked by a third person, by a second man. Are you able to process it or not? <laughs> Are you able to process it or not? Let me, let me say this again. If the wife wants to come back to the husband or the husband wants to go back to the wife after giving the divorce, then that wife, that woman cannot be with her husband before doing halala. What is halala? Halala means now that woman needs to have sex at least for one night with another person before she can be given to her husband. 
Wow. <laughs> wow. That is only possible in Slack. Good luck to you. Okay. So, you know, Halala, if you are my wife, and if I want you back tomorrow, then, as per Islam, you have to go get fucked by somebody else before you can come back to me. That's called halala. And in most of the cases, you know who that person is, whom do they need to go and fuck? Who that person is? That person is the person who uh, sits in the mosque and gives uh, that uh, loudspeaker thing. You know, the, the mosque priest. You can call him as a mosque priest. Mosque, M-O-S-Q-U-E, okay? So that person who gives all the goody goody inside the mosque uh, on the loudspeaker. So in most of the cases, halala being done by the uh, this person called Kazi. Kazi is that guy who is a priest in the mosque or M O S M O S Q U E. Okay, where loudspeakers are you know giving the prayers five times a day. So yeah, and you know if husband realizes that uh, you know he wants his uh, wife back then now he needs to get her fucked by someone he knows. And he will go and maybe approach to somebody in the mosque and that person will fuck her as long as he would want. It's not like, you know, uh, for example, <laughs> I mean, how stupid is that? Are you realizing the fact? But I have to say as it is what the process is, okay? So, imagine that I am that third person, you know, with, with whom your wife needs to fuck. So I will take your wife for one night and then it's up to me if I will release her or not. Because if I don't release her, the husband can't be with her wife. So this process of, uh, you know, getting your wife uh, back after she fucks with somebody else, that is called halala. Okay. And the process in which she gets to be with the husband after being fucked by somebody else, that's called malala. Malala means you got her back. Halala means she needs to get fucked by somebody else, a third person. Malala means now that third person has fucked her and released her and now she is with her husband happily ever after. That's called Malala. Good luck. Good luck. And then we have CLD and RGS, okay? Now CLD is an English version. RGS is the Arabic version, okay? RGS means Ralif Galif Salif. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm able to pronounce correctly, but I will tell you the meaning in English, okay? So, RGS, Ralif Galif Salif, this means that, this means that, convert, leave, or die. Ralif Galif Salif, Re remember, remember these words because when they will attack you, okay? When they will attack you, they, wa they might come on the street screaming Ralif Galif Salif, Ralif Galif Salif. That means they're giving you the choice, convert, leave or die, convert, leave or die, okay? Because all these extreme radical terrorists, they don't speak, understand English, right? So they will be saying Ralif Galif Salif, Ralif Galif, whatever, okay? That means convert, leave or die, convert, leave or die. Now you think I'm an idiot. Of course, I'm an idiot because you only, only you are smart. Because if I'm an idiot, then I know these things. And you know what? For goodness sake, if you are watching this video, it is your job to forward this video to your loved ones or to those people whom you care about, whom you want to see alive. You wanna play? Not everybody's like this. Maybe not. Are you willing to take the risk? I am not. Okay, because I am not here differentiating who is a good Muslim or bad Muslim. I'm not getting into that. I am getting into the core, into the basics of Islam, and basic basics of Islam will not change. As a Muslim, you can decide to change, but the the Quran teachings or the Islam teachings will not change. Okay. So next time somebody comes and talks about Islamophobia and uh, I'm a Muslim, do you hate me? Tell them I don't hate you. I hate your teachings. I hate your religion. I hate what is taught inside the Quran and inside the Islam. That is why I'm saying to you, never burn the Holy Quran. Don't burn it. Translate the Quran into your language, local language, and read it, go through. Because until and unless you don't know the strengths and weaknesses of your enemy, you will never be able to survive. That's what happened many, many times in the past and happening even today. Coming back here. So this is called genocide. What these radical Islamic people do, it's called genocide, okay? it ha In my reckoning, it had been happening since 1000 years to my country at least. If you're sleeping, it's better to be dead, okay? So, 
1000 years ago these radical people attacked my country they looted they raped they you know they converted people so understand one thing india once used to be only a hindu country there were no muslims in india there were there were no christians in india everything has been forced upon us for example let's say you are some christian country and in your country now you have multiple religions no you were not a multi religion country you were christian country only right similarly india once 1000 years back or maybe uh, until 8th century until 9th century india was only a hindu country hindu majority there were no other religions okay so this christianity in india muslim religion in india has been forced and now we have to just live as a secular country even if it's our choice or not is it doesn't matter because we have to live with what we have in our hands now so it has happened to us since last 1000 years it, it, it had been happening and there was there was nobody to tell us there was nobody to teach us there was there was nobody to tell the actual uh, you know intentions of these people okay remember one thing i'm warning you right now on your face they will play nice this is their narrative this is their agenda okay on your face they will act nice they will play nice but the day their people come into your city in your society they will join them for example i'm giving an example let's say you have a neighbor and you say nice muslim family good family this family that family okay that day their muslim brothers sisters will come into your locality and attack you they will join them your neighbor is not going to you know come for you your neighbor will be the first person to to point out the finger that that house is the house of a non muslim go and kill him and take their women and children that is what your neighbor will do if she or she will be a muslim you don't like my words wait for your end end is coming so they have done massacre multiple times 1946 and go and read you know go and read yazidi uh, massacre have you forgot about that yazidi massacre yes you must have forgot about it. genocide of yazidi by the book genocide of yazidis by the isis you know nothing about it, you know in yazidi when this happened in august 2014 whenever they were checking the girls pussies the what they were putting the finger putting their fingers inside the vagina of those girls to check their virginity and then they were they were taken and those who were useless they were burnt alive which world are you living in man what do you think you have money so you're safe you have iphones <laughs> they loot iphones at will in the uk in america they just break in into the apple store and they get as many iphones they want and you work hard whole month so that you can pay the emi for your iphone that's the only difference and then you have to work hard to go and get a girlfriend and for that you need the money what are you talking about they just attack your country kill the man and kidnap the 10 year old girl they have kidnapped so many young girls today and they are uh, they must have been having the lifetime today you know what i am not i am again i am not exaggerating but the girls which are kidnapped this morning small girls 10 years old 12 years old girl i am not exaggerate i am i am not exaggerating but they had been raped more than 1000 times already i am not sure if they are alive i am not and it's not my problem for now it's not problem it's not your problem for now but when you don't know the strengths and weaknesses of your enemy you're good for nothing okay the only pointer i can give you right now is that instead of buying an iphone buy a licensed gun 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 instead of giving uh, this iphone to your kids give them some gun train them about this radical you know uh, thing which is coming and just make your kids aware you know because see when these people will enter your house in in the in the situation of israel you know you will be shot dead at the spot so at that time you will not be able to tell you tell to your girls that what to do or not you will be shot dead immediately so whatever you have to tell to your girls to to your women tell them right now so that this will happen to you tomorrow at least to your women girls they will know what they what they have to do and when you will have a gun in your house 
at least you will die after killing one person. Today, people in Israel, they have been killed by terrorists for free, as in free death, okay? So if somebody is going to come to your house and kill you, at least you kill one terrorist first before you, before you uh, end up dead. Your death is in vain right now. So all I am proposing is wake up. You need to, you, you know, for example, you do not know anything about what I have said. No problem. I have recorded and made this video for you. Forward this video to somebody whom you care about and you want to see them alive. And ask them to forward this video because you know what? YouTube will not give me views for this video. It's not like I will get millions of views for this video. No, YouTube will push down my video for telling you all the truth, okay? It is your responsibility to forward this video one by one, one by one, one by one, like a chain. Otherwise, guys, you're doomed. So, I'm telling you, 1946, direct action day happened. Then 1947, partition happened. Yazidi massacre happened. And then this uh, Kashmir. Kashmir genocide in 1990. You see? Kashmir genocide in 1990. How can you forget that? Kashmir. Our Kashmir. India Kashmir. Okay? They kicked out all Hindus from Kashmir in 1990, January. And they gave the slogan, Ralef Galef Salef, Convert, Leave or Die. Convert, Leave or Die. You see, these many people were killed. It shows left, but they were killed. And still in Kashmir, there's no Hindus. You have no idea what's coming. You cannot fight with these people, you know. If you think Israel is going to kill some people in Palestine and everything will be fine. No, you have no idea. Iraq, you know, Iraq's citizens are with this Palestine movement. Iranians uh, are with this Palestine movement. Uh, I don't know which other Muslim countries will be. You are not fighting with 10,000 Muslims or 1 million Muslims. No, you're fighting with the mentality because there will be more people coming after this. In your country, in my country, in every country, you have to, you are fighting against the mentality. That mentality is not going to change because that is what is written in their book. All these things which I have just shown you, Kafir, Vajibul, Katl, Male, Ganimat, Halala, Malala, all these things are inside their Islam. As a Muslim, you can change yourself, but you cannot change the Islam, can you? So tomorrow, a children who is born, after two years, he will be taught Islam, he will be taught the same thing. He will be taught kill Kafir, rape girls, murder them, loot them, Male, Ganimat, then Halala, Malala, and blah, blah, blah. What is the solution to your I am not here to give you the solution. I am here to make you realize that you have to become a man, okay? How do you become a man? Have some bravery. Bravery to tell the truth to your kids because you don't even know the truth. I have to, I just have told you the truth in this video. Make them see this video. I cannot entertain you. I cannot get millions of views, sorry. But if my video, this, this particular video can save the life of even one person, God is watching me then. When I will die, God will say that you did one thing which nobody could do is that you saved 10 people's life in your life. This through this video. My recommendation is to get weapons licensed weapons okay and again if you are in the you know confusion that oh Tupor, you are exaggerating you're overthinking this and that <laughs> okay wait and watch you think you're in america you're safe you're in uk you're safe you're in europe you are safe you are in some other country you're safe you're not safe anywhere and i can't say this enough no military no police no government will come to save you. And when these kind of radical Islamic terrorists attack, 
you will not even find that dead body of your loved ones. Forget about that, your police, your gov government will come to save you. In these situations, you will not even find that dead body of your loved ones. So if you're sleeping, keep sleeping. Because one day, one bullet will come, shoot you, uh, one bullet will be shot in your head and you will be gone for good. Because we don't need cowards in this, uh, you know, on this planet. These people are brave. These extreme soldiers are brave. They are united, you know. They are killing. They are raping. They are taking the small, you know, girls and they are raping. Oh, I can't say this again. While you had been sipping your wine in the dinner today, those small girls from Israel were being raped in the Palestine. How will you survive this? I have no idea. Because we all are sitting on time bomb. So if you want to learn from, uh, if you want to learn something from uh, Islam, at least learn extremism in a positive way. Use extre you know, use extremism for your own safety. For example, if they kill one, you kill ten. If they if they rape your one woman you rape their 10 women. You think I'm a fool, I'm emotional. No, I'm not. I'm giving you a solution. The solution is that if somebody comes and do something awful to you, you make sure you do something awful to them so that their entire generation think 10 times before doing this to you again. Example, what Palestine has done to Israel today, what Israel needs to do to Palestine is wipe out Palestine's from the ground. We'll just wipe it out, kill billions, no problem. No problem. There will be there will be agenda that oh Islamophobia, Muslims were killed and all that, okay. I am giving a solution. Israel needs to retaliate with a thousand times more brutality than what today has happened in Israel by being done by Palestinians. And not Palestinians, by radical Islamic people. Because they do not have your fear. For example, let's say you are some Christian, whatever you are. They know that in your religion, all of this is not taught. You are not, you are not taught to be brave. You are not taught violence. You are not taught how to rape small girls. So they know they will do it. But in return, you will not do this to their women, to their children. What I am saying is, Israel needs to retaliate 100,000 times more brutally than what has happened to Palestinians. Set the example once for it all. Because if you do not retaliate that brutally, that your enemy is not shaken with your retaliation. Until then, these things will keep happening again and again and again and again and again and again. You cannot win hatred with the love. If you're if you're that person, you're doomed. If you think the the front person is hating me, so I will win his heart or her heart one day with love. Well, you are a fucking idiot. If one person kills your one man of you know your civilian. Let's say one Israeli civilian was killed. You kill thousand Palestinians. That's what I'm suggesting. If 10 Israel women were raped and abducted, you rape and abduct 10,000 of their girls and women. You know why? Because these radical people need to have that fear that if we did this again to this country, they will do this 10,000 times more words to my country. But you will not listen. No, it's not my problem as of now. Because I have, you know, we have more problems to deal in my country anyway. So it's only the matter of time before this will happen to my country. It will happen to you. In my country, it had been happening anyway. It has happened in 1946. 
It had happened in 47, it had happened in 1990, it had, you know, it happens in small numbers every day here. It, it's just like, it's not a war as of now. But we are facing 0.2 radical people in my country already. So yeah. I don't know, man. I think I need to shut down this video. I think we should wind up, right? So how will you uh, survive this? People, if you're in the UK, in America, in uh, France and other European countries, you, you don't have much time left. You need to be ready to fight. Because when these kind of attacks will happen, there will be no time. All of this is pre-planned, okay? These people plan all these things, all these attacks from months. And you will not be given any second, okay? So you need to plan from today. You need to have licensed weapons in your houses. You need to train your kids instead of teaching them how to make TikTok videos, how to do makeup and how to look pretty. Teach them about Islam. Teach them about these things. Okay. Why you should teach them? So that they can know about their enemy. Make your girls and women strong. And first of all, as a man, you need to be strong. Because as a man, it's pretty easy. When they will attack, you will be shot dead. Your job is done. But who's going to suffer is your women and children. And if you're going to die, it's better you kill one person before you die. One is two, one eye is two eye. I don't know. Man. Whatever I have said in this video is based on facts, is based on truth. And I take full responsibility of what I have said. And nobody can challenge me on this. Nobody can incorrect me on this. So yeah, you want to make money online? For whom? A lot of people in Israel made money all their life and now they are shot dead. Their girls were taken. And you know what? You will not be given the whole news, you know. Uh, I'm telling you from tomorrow, from next morning, there will be agenda, you know, there will be uh, people showing that Palestinians have done this, uh, you know, nice things to women, women are being taken care of. No, they're not being taken care of. They're being raped multiple times a day, gang raped. Look what happened in Afghanistan when Taliban took over. I had, I had to make this video because remember, it's your responsibility. What I have told in this video, you need to make this people, uh, you need to make people, you need to make as many people to know this. Share this video. It's not about my YouTube channel or it's not about getting views on this video, no. Because if I don't do this, nobody else will. And if you don't do it, you will think that you had the chance to save and you didn't do it. So I guess uh, my eyes are getting heavy now and it's uh, time to go. So yeah, do whatever you can. Save yourself. I think the least I can do is give you this video and uh, wish you best of luck. So I help. I hope that uh, we can fight this. But the, 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 the percentage of hope is very less. But I guess I have to be strong. You have to be strong. And... Just try to spread awareness. I'm trying to spread awareness and uh, I will need your help. So you have to spread this video to your loved ones and teach them whatever you have learned from this video. It's not about you. You will die. Fine. I will die. Fine. It's about your kids. Over and out.